Today in WWE 2K23, John Cena will compete for every WWE title in this wheel as long as he doesn't lose any of these random special title matches. So before he retires, let's see how many championships he can win without taking a loss. The first opponent is a big one because it is the world heavyweight champion Seth freaking Rollins. And they are stepping into a match which they both start with three finishers. Definitely a hot star to this uh, championship gauntlet challenge. I can already see. Se oh, did you take out the referee? <laughs> this is not how you start this off, Seth Rollins. You're supposed to go for John Cena, man. I can already see Seth Rollins swing over John Cena in a challenge like this. Because that curb stomp is uh, vicious. Trying to swing it back. Go for the super kick. John Cena dodges it, though, and goes for a springboard stunner. Cena's here to stay, and he's gonna turn it into an AA. Here we go. In a two count. Cena might be looking to go for another one here. Oh, got him in the corner. He could be going for that middle rope curb stomp. He hits it. He actually hits it, jumps up, and goes for it. Next one might be it. Oh, he's gonna go for it again. Seth Rollins is too fired up. John Cena run might be over right now. That is curb stomp number two. And John Cena kicks out. He used resiliency, though. Seth gonna go ahead for another sends him towards the corner john cena says not this time sev did lost a finisher in that attempt wait oh no sev don't do this to him oh he was gonna go for the AA. john cena with the right hand though strong eyes him towards the corner he's gonna go for it oh my god john cena from the top rope i guess middle rope avalanche aa to sev freaking rollins and a three john wins Solid start for one of the greatest of all time. But can John keep that momentum into the next one? Because he ain't going nowhere. Wheel is ready to go and his next opponent is the NXT champion, Dragunov. Looks like John Cena has landed back to NXT. And this second championship opportunity is going to be a tables match. Let's see who's going to go through that table first. Now, this is a dream match that we will likely never get, unfortunately. And Dragon out going for those chops right away. We know that he is vicious. John Cena making this unexpected visit to NXT. Not just to put over a younger talent, but to be one up, probably. Dragon out, though, one of the the most dominant champion John Cena with the spring more stunner getting one table sliding it into the ring here so I swap towards the corner oh my John Cena is gonna go ahead and do it one more time this is how he ended up winning the world heavyweight championship from Seth Rollins that could give him the opening to set up that table right there Cena trying to put the final touches here dragon of though with the counter into the chop and takes him to the outside we got even more tables getting introduced in this matchup as if it wasn't enough yet our strong I swip. Thought he was going to take him towards the corner. Dogs down, though. Dragging off with the German suplex. Cena got him by the other turnbuckle, dude. Just a minute later, he's going to go for it. No way. Oh, turns it into a hurricanrana. Oh, I guess Cena wants another one. Come on, bro. There is no way right now. This game is broken. You got three tables already. I didn't realize these two didn't like each other that much. Cena, now is your moment, man. Now that you got him back in. There you go, Shrek. Ice up towards the corner. Oh my, he's finally got him up. And he's gonna go for a power bomb. Cena with the win, finally. That was a top challenge for John Cena, but he got it done. And I know you're sweaty right now, Cena, but we gotta see who's your next opponent right away. The next one could be the one to end this run and take all those title. Or I guess I should say the next two because it is the tag team champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest. But don't worry, John. I'm gonna hook you up in a bit, but for the time being, it seems like this will be an over-the-top rope match. And I'm gonna make it double interesting because I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a super tag team partner, and that is a literally Super Cena. You're welcome, Cena. This is the only help I'm gonna give you. And I won't lie, I feel a little bit bad right now for Finn Balor and Damian Priest. I don't know if they're gonna be able to handle these two Cena's right now. Especially Super Cena, who's of course a 100 overall. But hey,
Okay, it is an over-the-top rope two versus two type of matchup here. Oh, planting John Cena's head on the mat. Finn Balor gonna pick him up. Goes for the snap suplex. Judgment Day on top. Mommy was right. Maybe Super Cena wasn't the answer here. Okay, never mind. John Cena from the middle rope and goes for a crossbody. But Damian Priest, though, I don't think he has taken any punches on this matchup yet. Kick to the miss section and goes for the fisherman suplex and a belly to belly by the other Cena. Big grapple there. John Cena goes for that springboard stunner. Oh, and Super Cena gonna go for the AA. But wait, it's not just one because he is super after all. He's gonna go for the part two AA. Cena here gonna go for the iron swift that got Damian Priest in a good position for an elimination. Goes for the right hand and Cena with the drop kick. Damian Priest is out. It is a 2v1. And right now, Finn Balor is getting double teamed. Super Cena with the iron swift. And then knee to the back of the head. And we got brand new tag team champions. I don't know what I'm seeing right now, but that is championship number three for John Cena. He's still in this. Next championship opportunity. And it seems like we're getting more judgment day because the North American champion, Dominic, is coming through. And maybe this one turned out to be an easy win. Let's see what stipulation the wheel is going to give us. And we get a finisher's match. Match, which uh, could be easy to win but also easy to lose for Cena and remember once he loses all of this is over and he won't get any more title opportunities is Dominic gonna get his revenge for the Judgment Day brothers Finn Balor and Damian Priest or is this gonna be a freebie for John Cena I don't think Dominic is gonna let that happen though no matter how much we like him or dislike him he's letting Dominic get that signature way up right now oh my he could have hit a 619 right here lucky for John he doesn't have a ready to go yet Dominic from the top rope he don't got that finish Sure, yeah, he's still gonna go for a splash and John slides away from it. Oh, double springboard move. Nobody hits it. And Dominic gonna go old school on the triple crown champion, John Cena, who got that NXT, that world champion, and of course, uh, those tag team titles. Oh, by the apron. And that's the hardest part of the ring. Let him know, Michael Cole. John Cena with the quickness sends him towards the ropes and gonna go for that shoulder tackle. Oh, Doug's down. Cena's using a comeback here. I don't know if that's going to be smart. Or maybe it is, brother. Picks him up and straight down. He just got to take him down. Go for that five knuckle shuffle, which we pretty much predicted here. Is he going to connect it, though? He's going to get that finisher up. He's ready to go. Going to pick him up. Here we go. Doug's down. Oh, he still got it, though. He still got that's more of the animation. There it is. The F-U-A-A -A to Dominic. And Cena wins another title. Don't celebrate for too long, though. Next up coming through. Oh, my God. The Undisputed. WWE Champion Roman Reigns. I think this might be it. Surely this dominant run of Cena is about to come to an end. He is needed in Hollywood for Fast and the Furious number 17. And for this special match, we're actually taking it to the backstage. It's backstage of broad time. Roman Reigns didn't even take off his shirt. But John Cena is going to teach him a lesson or two because he's going to go for that AA. John Cena heard me say if he loses one match, it's over for him. But he's not here to lose any of it. Picking up John Cena over the shoulder with the power bomb. A straight to the face. That Superman punch is going to be vicious. Roman's still on the offense. He's looking for something here. Going around the table as he is the head of the table. But the right hand got good momentum right now. It's going to pick him up. There goes the table. Table. Got him in the perfect spot. Gonna back away here. And there's the spear. Cena's still in it though. Roman's going up now. And I don't know if this is a good idea, Roman. Are you sure you want to do this? Because John Cena's going up too. Oh, no. And wait, you already know what I need. I need the highlight reel right hand. And Cena just get tossed out. Gonna back away. Superman punch. Cena's not done yet. If Cena doesn't do something quick. Oh, he jumped 
kicked over the spear. Kick to the midsection. Cena with the strikes. And a sunset flip. Got the shovel now. Oh, dog's down. You can't see me once again. Grabs the shoulder over the top. And there's the AA for the win. Another title to the collection. Who's next? Cena is back to the arena. And not a lot of options left. Only three. And it will be one more left if he gets through this next one. The new US champion, Logan Paul. I think Cena is about to take it all the way. Maybe he gets to complete this whole challenge. And this will be contested in an extreme rules match, so anything goes. This one should be real interesting. Logan Paul is brand new to this champion thing. John Cena already got five of them so far, and he's so close to beating every single champion. But we know we cannot rule out Logan Paul. He might got the fire in him, and he's gonna get himself a chair here. John Cena trying to get the best of him. Logan Paul though with the reversal. Action back into the ring. Logan Paul with the right hand turns him around, and John Cena just smashing away from behind with the AA. Logan Paul gets out of it though. No way. And Logan Paul with some really good offensive maneuvers here, gonna set him up. This is gonna set him up for the frog splash. Actually, Cena kicks out of two and no way no, what is he please, doing no. oh my god you can't see me logan paul i'm gonna lose my voice after so long with the aa is it it two and a three john cena just got jobbed out cena was so close to getting it done he got five out of the eight championships i don't know if anybody's gonna be able to complete the whole thing but if you want to see how good randy orton did in this check this video out and stay savage.